Hi guys and welcome to sunny Modica and today I'll be visiting two places actually Modica and Ragusa or Ragusa Modica and Ragusa and uh, my bus departed at 8 a.m. from Catania and I was at I think around 10 I was in Ragusa but I decided to go to Modica uh, because there aren't that many buses in the afternoon I wanted to visit these two beautiful towns so we are now in Modica beautiful town full of Baroque architecture uh, and then uh, we'll travel together to Ragusa uh, at least that's the plan I've already checked the timetable so it is possible it is doable to cover these two places within seven hours um, anyways I hope we enjoy this adventure and as always we'll learn something together see you soon Nestled in the heart of Sicily, Modica boasts a rich history that spans millennia. Founded by the Sicoli people in the 7th century BC, the city has been shaped by the successive influences of Greek, Roman, Arab civilizations. Throughout the centuries, Modica evolved into a cultural and economic hub, with architectural marvels like the Cathedral of St. George and the Church of St. Peter, uh, standing as testament to its enduring legacy. The city thrived during the Middle Ages, gaining prominence as a flourishing center of trade. In 1693, a devastating earthquake struck the region, leading to a period of reconstruction that birthed a distinctive Sicilian Baroque architecture seen in Modica today. Modica chocolate has gained fame and acclaim for its unique characteristics and traditional artisanal production methods. What sets Modica chocolate apart is its adherence to an ancient Aztec recipe. Introduced to Sicily by the Spanish during the 16th century, the distinctive grainy texture an intense flavor of Modica chocolate results from a process that, that avoids the use of cocoa butter and includes cold processing, maintaining the granular structure of sugar. Pretty good. Corso Umberto. The main thoroughfare waves through the heart of Modica, offering a glimpse into local life. This bustling street, named after King Umberto I, serves as a vibrant hub where history, culture and commerce intersect. Many of Modica's main sites are conveniently located along this iconic street, making it a must visit for any explorer. The Cathedral of St. George, the exemplary showcase of Sicilian Baroque architecture, has stood as a symbol of religious and cultural significance in Modica for centuries. Originally established in the med medieval period, the cathedral underwent extensive reconstruction following the seismic events of 1693, emerging as the majestic structures we see today. The Baroque facade, adorned with intricate details, was completed in the early 18th century, becoming a testament to the resilience of Modica's community. Stepping inside, visitors are greeted by a collection of notable religious artworks that trace the evolution of artistic styles over the years. The, th the cathedral houses masterpieces by renowned Sicilian painter Mario Miniti, adding a layer of historical and artistic richness to the sacred space. For those eager to explore beyond the artistic treasures, a unique experience awaits for a small fee. Climbing the Campanile, the cathedral's bell tower offers a breathtaking panorama of Modica. From this vantage point, visitors can admire the city's picturesque landscape, providing a stunning perspective on the architectural wonders and natural beauty that define the region. The Church of St. Peter, also known as the Duomo, stands as a captivating testament to Modica's religious and architectural heritage. Dating back to the medieval era, this cathedral has undergone significant transformations, particularly in the aftermath of the earthquake of 1693, that reshaped the region. The church's architecture reflects a harmonious blend of different styles, showcasing the resilience and adaptability of Modica artistic traditions. As visitors enter the change of St. Peter, they are greeted by a, rich, by a rich tapestry of religious artworks that spans various periods. Notable masterpieces including works by the renowned artist Antonello Gagini, adorn the interior, offering a glimpse into the evolution of artistic expression within the sacred space. So 
So guys, welcome to Ragusa. We are in Ragusa. I'm cr currently walking to the... Oh, Ragusa, by the way, is divided into two parts, the old town and the new town. So I'm currently going to the new town. There's a very beautiful cathedral. First we'll see the new town and then we'll go to the old town. That's the plan. Uh, I remember that it was a, a bit of climbing, so hopefully we'll be able to visit all the places. Uh, my bus is departing at 5 and I already bought the ticket because apparently when you buy Andate e Ritorno it's, it's much cheaper. Anyways, let's see what Ragusa has to offer. And also, I hope we'll learn something together, visit many beautiful places and you'll enjoy it. So see you soon. Inhabited by ancient Sicilian tribes in the 3rd millennium BC, the city of Ragusa traces its roots to the establishment of Hibla Heria by Greek settlers in the 7th century BC. Throughout the medieval and renaissance period, Ragusa witnessed a series of conquests, including the Arab rule in 848, renaming the city Ragusa, and Norman capture in 1091, bringing stability and fostering growth in the 14th century as a key trade and commerce hub. However, the devastating earthquake of 1693 led to extensive reconstruction, transforming Ragusa into a Baroque masterpiece from 1693 to 1738. Under Bourbon rule in 1812, Ragusa became part of the Kingdom of Sicily. The 20th century brought wartime challenges, as Ragusa faced bombings during the World War II in 1943. Post-war, in 1946, Italy became a republic, and Sicily gained autonomy within the Italian Republic. Today, Ragusa stands as a vital cultural and historical center in Sicily, celebrated for its meticulously preserved Baroque architecture and renowned culinary traditions. Ragusa is divided into two parts, Ragusa Superiore, Upper Ragusa, and Ragusa Ibla. Ragusa Ibla is the older, lower part of the city, characterized by narrow streets, historic buildings, and Baroque architecture. Ragusa Superiore, on the other hand, is more modern, upper part of the city. The two areas are connected by bridges and staircases, and together they form a unique and picturesque urban landscape. The Cattedrale di San Giovanni Battista is a magnificent Baroque masterpiece with a rich and enduring history. Construction of the cathedral commenced in 1694 following the devastating earthquake of 1693 and continued for nearly 140 years, showcasing the dedication of the Ragusan people to rebuild their city. Renowned architect Rosario Gagliardi played a pivotal role in shaping the cathedral's grandeur. The facade is a testament to Baroque opulence, adorned with columns, statues and a central rose window. Inside, the Latin cross plan features a nave and side chapels, with notable works of art by Sicilian artists such as Olivio Sozzi adorning the walls. The cathedral's interior also houses significant relics and artifacts, adding to its religious and historical significance. The Cattedrale di San Giovanni Battista stands as a symbol of resilience, architectural excellence and cultural richness of the, in the heart of Ragusa. A block from the cathedral on Corso Italia, there is a square named after the socialist politician Giacomo Matteotti. In 1924, as a result of a fraud during the parliamentary elections, Mussolini's party came to power. Matteotti twice spoke in parliament with revelations of fraud, after which he was killed by fascist militants. The square is dominated by the state post office building, Palazzo delle Poste, with a majestic facade of hewn stone, decorated with nine marble statues. It was a typical example of Mussolini-era imperial architecture. The initiator was Filippo Pennavaria, a Ragusa-born deputy minister of post. The building has the status of a Sicilian cultural heritage. The building behind my back is from 1938, so from the fascist era. That it's yet another example of fascist architecture. I've seen one in Palermo, like every major city, every town sometimes has one example. The church's origin date back to the 13th century, making it one of Ragusa's oldest religious sites. Originally built as a small chapel, it underwent substantial renovations in the 18th century, evolving into the Baroque structure seen today. Architect Rosario Gagliardi, known for his contributions to Sicilian Baroque architecture, played a role in the church's redesign during this period. The interior boasts a stunning dis display of Baroque decoration, 
featuring ornate altars, frescoes and sculptures. During my visit, I had the privilege of being shown around by dedicated volunteers whose passion and knowledge illuminated the historical and artistic significance of the Church of Santa Maria della Scala. Thanks a bunch for making my visit super cool and memorable. Your passion and knowledge totally rocked. Cheers for sharing all the interesting stuff about the amazing place. What a nice surprise, guys. This church behind me. Uh, literally, it's on your way if you're going from this new Ragusa to Ragusa Ibla. I met a very nice crowd of young people. And they showed me around the church. That was very informative in English, very interesting. And I also climbed the uh, Campanila, the tower. Uh, very good, I learned a lot already. And hopefully I'll be able to show you the, well, the church, how it looks inside and say a few words about its history. And now I'm going to Ragusa Ibla, so the old Ragusa. And uh, it seems that I'll have to climb. But look at these views, Jesus Christ. Look at the views. Absolutely amazing. The church's origins can be traced back to the late 18th century, when construction began under the guidance of architect Rosario Galliardi. However, it wasn't until 1775 that the church was cons consecrated. Inside the Duomo di San Giorgio, visitors are treated to a wealth of artistic treasures. The interior features intricate, stu intricate stuccos, frescoes and skull contributing to the overall opulence of the church. The high altar is dedicated to St. George, the patron saint of Ragusa. In the realm of cinema, the Duomo di San Giorgio has served as a captivating backdrop for several notable films. One of the most renowned is the Italian television series Inspector, Inspector Montalbano, based on the detective novels by Andrea Camilleri. The Duomo di San Giorgio's stunning architecture and historic ambience have made it a favorite location for filmmakers seeking to capture the essence of Sicily. The Church of San Giuseppe in Ragusa is a Baroque gem with origins dating back to 1756-1796 under the patronage of the Benedictine order. Replacing a pre-1693 earthquake church, its architect, possibly within the circle of Rosario Gagliardi, crafted the facade adorned with three sculpted orders featuring saints like Benedict and Mauro. Inside, an oval layout accommodates a large choir and coretti for cloistered nuns. Notable features include a vault fresco by Sebastiano Monaco, elaborate stucco work by Agrippino Maggiore and altars with scagliola and pieces by, by Tommaso Polaccio and Giuseppe Crestadoro. Established in the 19th century, the garden features well-maintained pathways, vibrant flower beds and a variety of trees, creating a tranquil atmosphere. Giardino Ibleo offers panoramic views of the surrounding landscape, including the historic center of Ragusa Ibla. With its charming setting, the garden is a popular spot for leisurely strolls, picnics and relaxation. The well-manicured lawns and scenic vistas make Giard uh, Giardino Iblo a delightful destination for those seeking a peaceful retreat in the heart of Ragusa. The Church of St. James the Apostle stands as a splendid example of Baroque architecture in Ragusa, with origins dating back to the 18th century. Constructed in the circle of renowned architect Rosario Gagliardi, the church's facade showcases intricate details and sculptures characteristic of the Sicilian Baroque style. Consecrated in the 18th century, the interior boasts an altar adorned with ornate decorations and frescoes, contributing to the overall aesthetic richness. Magazzini di Palazzo Donna Fugata is a delightful restaurant known for its fantastic pizza and refreshing apparel spritz. The restaurant situated near Palazzo Donna Fugata offers a charming dining experience with many tables available outside. So guys, the adventure has come to an end. Ooh. But I gotta say, the last hour was exhausting. I walked basically, I almost ran for like, like 40 minutes to be on time for the bus. But um, I gotta say that from the old town here, it's like, uh, it showed me like 50 minutes almost, but it was very hard. I'm tired, but I hope you enjoyed it. And probably in a moment, you'll hear my final commentary. Until next time. Cost, Catania Ragusa, 860, 1 hour 55 minutes, Etna Transporti. Ragusa Modica, 2 euros 25, around 30 minutes. Pizza plus Aperol Sprit, 17 euros. What can we learn? Exploring Ragusa and Modica in Sicily unveils a rich artistic heritage, from Baroque architecture and religious art to traditional craftsmanship and vibrant contemporary scenes. Ragusa, a charming city conductive to leisurely walks, offers an intimate experience unmarred by crowds while Modica's renowned chocolate further sweetens the cultural exploration. Keep dreaming, 
keep exploring and keep living your best life.